Spoiler alert, Top Gun was only popular in 1986 because you couldn't Google Top Gun volleyball scene super slow-mo. You had to rent the whole goddamn movie, wait until the house was empty, and then fast forward to the 41 minute 15 second mark. <laughs> what, just me? One of the most anticipated blockbusters of the past four years is Top Gun Maverick, where Tom Cruise single-handedly fights ageism. He's still got it, baby. Still. I struggle to find the bathroom door in the middle of the night when I get up to take a piss, but this dude's eagle eyes are as good as ever at 59 or 55 or however old he was when they filmed this. Why do we even need a movie about fighter pilots in the modern era? We have drones now. It's like making a movie about travel agents or landline installation technicians. What are these new pilots even training for? Crop dusting? The flyover before kickoff at the next Steeler game? Two for one wing night at Hooters? At any rate, the new class is as brazen as ever. Casually dropping shit like this throughout the film. Everyone here is the best there is. Who the hell are they gonna get to teach us? Court martial every one of these Gen Zers. Who the hell's gonna teach you? I'll tell you who's gonna teach you. A boomer named Maverick, whose preferred pronoun is badass. Man's a loose cannon. But at his age, that's what the psyllium husk is for. A few scoops before bed keeps everything firm. Pulling G's for 30 years really does a number on your GI tract. Now, if you're under 35 and think you need to see the first film to enjoy this one, you do not. Because Paramount did you a favor and made the same exact movie. Motorcycles? Check. Recreational beach activities? Check. An entire bar full of drunken pilots singing in unison? Check. A funeral for a character that was supposed to be a total shocker, but wasn't a shocker whatsoever given the constant foreshadowing throughout the first two acts? Check. Tom Cruise making slow, tender thrusting love to Charlie? Ooh, no, not in this one. Turns out, he's no longer her cup of tea. She went to the other side. And I'm not talking about the Russians. <laughs> but Maverick does meet Goose's son Rooster and is forced to confront the consequences of accidentally killing his best friend. Like, without a father figure, Meg Ryan was allowed to name her son Bradley Bradshaw. That's the character's name, Bradley Bradshaw. Bradley Bradshaw doesn't belong in a fighter jet. He belongs in the showroom of a used car dealership. Come on down to Bradley Bradshaw's used car emporium, right off the 5 North, and take advantage of the Bradley Bradshaw guarantee, where if you don't find what you're looking for, we'll give you the whole lot for free. I'm losing money on this deal. Speaking of cockpits, let's go back to that volleyball scene for a minute. I mean, how do you top that near perfect moment in cinematic history? My guess, this time, they play fully nude. Johnson's flopping around all over the place. It's gonna be awesome. If Euphoria taught us anything this past season, it's that audiences are ready to see an uncomfortable amount of penis on screen. Sunday night, when their kid walks in and is like, what's that? And you're like, go to bed. Don't do drugs. <laughs> but who am I kidding? I love Top Gun. The movie boosted Air Force enlistment and gave an entire generation a psychosexual response to the opening bars of Kenny Loggins' Danger Zone. It's gonna be dope. In theaters July 12, 2019, or June 26, 2020. Actually, go see it July 17, 2021. Nope. In theaters May the 27th, 2022 ish. Go see it before Tom Cruise turns 60. Permission to buzz the tower? Get off my mark, Roger. Oh, sorry.